This is Ripper V1. This is the first version of Ripper. So it looks a really different than this plane. This is a plane I made in the tutorial. And I just have to say, um, I did explain how to create a Ripper, Ripper a V1 in the tutorial of Ripper V2. This is Ripper V2, by the way. Um, so I did do a good job explaining how to do that. So this one has two afterburners instead of one and a foldable flight. When he, when he made this tutorial on Ripper V1, he did a great job of understanding how to fold it, but I'm still worried that less experienced orgonists and designers might not understand how to create Ripper V1 from the Ripper V2 tutorial. So that is why I'm making this tutorial to show any, any less experienced orgonists how to create Ripper V1, which is far easier, by the way. It's far easier than Ripper V2. So, yeah. On to the tutorial. All right, to fold Ripper V1, you're first going to fold in half like this and like this. You're gonna unfold and fold in half like this. Then you are going to fold you're going to squash fold this down using the pre-existing creases that you just used or just made. Then you're going to fold along that this crease and squash fold. want to make sure that everything is perfect. Then we're going to fold this excess paper behind without it hitting this Without, well, it has to hit, but like it, it has to be far, uh, it has to just, without going over it, yeah, it has to go on it, not over it. Then you're going to fold this in to the center. Fold this into the center again. Fold this into the center once more. Just make sure everything is straight right here. Want to kind of like make so you just kind of want to push here with your fingernail. Then you can do that on this side. Do this again. Just kind of make sure that the crease doesn't want to come out. Then you're going to open up this like this. Just kind of lift that up and close it. Then you're going to stick your finger inside and squash fold it down. Then you're going to inside pedal fold by folding this on the inside, or folding this not on the inside, but you're going to fold it up like this. Then you're going to lift this up and using those two creases and kind of pinch your center, going to just kind of collapse it and then reinforce the creases by creasing it really hard with your nail. Now, what you could do is you can fold these up along this edge underneath, this edge underneath. I'm going to fold that up. 
Then you're gonna fold this to the edge that you just made. And fold this to the edge you just made. We're gonna do that on this side. Now what you can do is you can unfold this, turn the paper over like that, and you're gonna continue this crease up like that. Then you're going to fold this flap down, just like this, and stick it underneath. And there's two ways you can do this. So this pocket right here creates some drag. So you can either pull out all of this strap paper, or you could just pull out that. But I like to pull out all of this strap paper. and then stick it underneath. Now that you have that, um, you can fold this up and do that to this side. Now that you've done that, you can fold this big flap up as far as it will go without tearing, and then fold it back on itself like this. Same thing. And you're gonna fold this on this side too. And you're gonna do that on this side. And now you're gonna unfold all of this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over, you know, lift this up, and you're going to reverse this crease and this crease after you fold this behind like that. These creases should already be here for you, so you can just kind of fold that. And now that you've reversed those two creases, you know how you now have a rear wing and a fin along with your front wing. Fold this down. And you can do the same thing on this side. Don't forget to fold that over. And just like that.
Now what you can do is you can open this up just a tiny bit. You're gonna fold this flap over. From here, you want this point to land on this. Or you don't want it to land, you want it to come really close. Just like that. Now you can flip that like this. And now one step that I kind of forgot, you can do this earlier, but like, I guess it's fine now. So you can pop out that layer and then fold it over as far as it will go without tearing that much. You can do the same thing on this side. I mean, like, that step's optional. Foldable flight really didn't do it. And now, the last thing that you can do before the jet fold is you can fold your fins and rear wings and front, front wings up like this. Like you don't really need to do this for less complex models, but for something like, uh, for like this kind of design where it has like wings, multiple wings and fins, you might need to do this. But now what you're gonna do is you can take this thick piece of paper and fold it to the, as much to a point as it can possibly get right there and you want it to hit right here. And now this, now because you did this part right here, this step should be really easy. You're just gonna kinda gonna put your finger right here and your thumb right there and your thumb right here and you just kind of want to pinch these layers together you can you can go like this and like that's always an option but that's the way I figured out how to do it and then you just kind of want to jet fold it to as much of a point as possible right uh, at the back. Now, what you can do is you can fold this up in half. Don't fold it up uh, too far, otherwise it could rip. And then you're gonna unfold, fold this to the edge that you just created. And again, and again. And now what you can do is you can kind of go like this. And then on the edge of your desk, you can kind of uh, flatten it out like this. Foldable Flight does a great job explaining how to do this on like his, on uh, Jason Merrill's Dumb and Back video. That looks pretty good, but there's still some smaller things that can help you a lot. There are some things that you can do to make uh, it fly better and to look uh, vi visually appealing is you can, first of all, you can use a pencil, but I'm gonna use some tweezers. Um, you can kind of open these engines up like this and kind of smush them all, all around into the shape that you want that looks really good.
can do that on this side. That also looks really good. Now, can lift these up, make them equidistant, and you can bend up these back edges just a little bit. Like this, and like that, because this plane has a tendency to nosedive. So, just be aware of that. You can do some tricks if you do it like a really high up. But, uh, yeah, that is Ripper V1.